What's going on guys, Austin, and today <coughs> we are going to be running engine 78 here. Um, let's see, I think we've got a quick attack in the front. Oh, Jesus, it's first person. I just want to make sure I know where everything is on the rig before we get a run. Um, yep, it should be right there. All these engines are pretty much the same besides squad, which is my truck, so I'm just trying to get a... Feel for the city. Um, <clears throat> let's get traffic on. Uh, uh, view view distance should be up there. Steering sensitivity should also be up. View distance should be pretty high. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> we're in a nice little neighborhood uh, station, essentially. Um, this is where Rescue One. Pa oh, hello, textures. Rescue One parks here just because uh, Ref hasn't built a station yet for it. Uh, it shouldn't be. A overly large uh, issue for us today. Um, my only concern is actually leaving the house. Um, sometimes we might have to uh, head into oncoming traffic here, um, but that shouldn't be an issue. Um, so again, we're housed with uh, ladder 57, which I'm not even going to spawn for this, just because there's no uh, point on doing that. But. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll just, uh, let's see, so we got our ladder here, uh, nothing in this back compartment, should have our, okay, um, so that one, oh, there's the extinguisher, in case I need to know that, I don't know why those aren't right clickable, I mean, I don't know why it's E to open, I mean, it's kind of weird, um, we have our deck gun, <clears throat> hose connection we have a supply line there so if we wanted to uh, we, we also have them on the back too or we have a relay line um, hose packs here I wonder what the difference is between the the relay and the supply but to the supply is yeah so supply lines I mean, probably the same thing as the uh, relay, three and a half, three inch. Uh, we ran that fire yesterday. Nope. Yeah, we'll take that in twelfth.
seem to react to the manual a lot better than they do the, uh... The whale. Which doesn't make any sense. Some of you guys want me to do a ladder, but most of these are fires that a ladder is not going to help me with. Alright, let's get out and investigate. I mean, this is probably. I don't know. Why is this hydrant? Alright. I mean, we don't have a fire. Set the alarm and get out of here. That was easy. The EQ hasn't even wound down yet. Is that actually uh hmm. I'm trying to see if the white lights turned on with the Headlights aren't on though. Let's see if we can get those to turn on. There we go. So we're clear. Back to the station. Oh, we got a, we got a fire. Let's get up there. So we are going to Harlem River Drive and Fifth Ave. So this is going to be uh, our upper east side of Manhattan. Oh Jesus! Uh, let's turn down that view distance a tad. Let me get those frames up a tad. They're, they're sitting a little lower. over to the next northbound road, which should be six. Woohoo! Spicy! driver's side wheels are glitching out on the lines. Yes, that's, that was... People are retarded. AI. I'll try to keep these episodes to two, three calls. That way we're uh, not boring you guys. So if it's one, oh, it's on Harlem. So, I read that right? Yeah. 
So it's gonna be this road up here. Holy shit! That's a truck fire. Kick her in the pump. This should be, I mean, this is a textbook vehicle fire. Grab our hose over here, P to charge it. See, it's filling up. Now we have, well, let's put our mask. And now we're just going to hit it. Biggest thing is to hit it from the top down. The water. Start from the top down. Your water droplets will help fall. And they'll, they'll hit some of the stuff underneath, and then you can use your steam and other stuff to also help when you hit it from the other direction. So, you know, I really like the fire mechanics of this game. Kind of pretty accurate for the most part. Um, the one thing I really wish that would be. Uh, implemented was some better hose physics. Uh, not, not necessarily physics, but I mean like this hose is stretched for some reason. You know, this now it's on the ground, but if I walk over here, you know, it gets lifted in the air. Like I mean this is this is an inch and three quarter line. You're not gonna be able to just stretch that hose. See like that, like I don't that's better than so damn that girl has a booty. Anyways. <laughs> oh shit. Let's check out the truck, make sure we don't have any extra fire in the front. Couldn't really see anything. No, truck just looks to be off gassing. So we'll go ahead and uh, pack up here. So this positioning here that I'm in it's called a fend-off, and it's essentially that you give yourself a work window. So, as a single engine company, I can completely do this myself. Um, and it, it gives me a work window, so I'm, I'm able to work around this fire, and I don't have to worry about someone coming up and clobbering me, because I'm protected by this truck the whole time. So that's... Damn it. That's one of the nice... Features, I guess. Did that uh, nozzle? Did I put the nozzle back, or is that still? Yeah, I put the nozzle back. All right. So we'll go ahead and clear it on the terminal, and we're actually gonna put those lights back on. Whip around here real quick. And we're gonna head back to the house. So that was, I mean, that was a fun call getting up here. I, I mean, I enjoyed it. I thought it was. I don't, maybe I don't want to be in that left lane since cars are gonna just stop there. So we'll take the highway all the way around. And, uh, and then we'll just, uh,. I can't go all the way around. What do I have to take? The next road that goes down, I think. I don't want to have to take like 125th or something. That's a pretty shitty road to be on. The highway sucks to run code on. These cars suck at driving. So we'll take this straight down and it should 
I think the cross or 125th is right up here in this next one. This is the school fire we had yesterday. It's a nice, uh, nice building there. I really enjoyed the textures on it. I thought it was nice. Very, very well and uh, intricately textured. Where the hell is my house? I always forget. I think, I think Raph moved it down. I think he moved it down a couple streets, because it didn't used to be this... It used to be a lot more north. I like how he added that right here, so that there's not a... Uh, oh. There's a, a less of a like curb <laughs> so you don't have to like jump over a six foot curb here well thanks for watching this episode see ya